Hello, welcome to Cooking and Storing with Ann and Wayne. Today we're going to be unboxing our Breville Sous Chef 16 Peel and Dice. Yes, we are upgrading our existing food processor because this one has a larger capacity and it also has more options. So let's get the box open and see what's in here. All right. All right, first thing we've got is a book. This is our user's manual. All right, I think I'm going to turn this thing on its side and slide it out the end. Uh, it's, it's packed in styrofoam on both sides and we don't want to break anything. So, let's slide it down. I'm going to go your way in. Because the heavy part's at my end, I think. I don't want to break anything. Okay. Now we'll hold these two side pieces together because I'm a little worried about stuff falling out and we'll tilt it over. Flat. And then I think we can get stuff out without breaking anything. Let a cord there and lay that over there. Slip this up and out of the way. And there's our parts. And I'll let you tell me what this is. Okay. All right. This is the container for anything that you want to process and it's um, a, the 16 stands for 16 cups which is uh, uh, a good large capacity. Uh, a couple things I noticed that impressed me and I'm, I'm not the cook here and is but the part here where you put your food in there's three different sizes of that insert and the big bowl, there's two different bowls. There's a large, a full size, and then there's a smaller bowl inside it if you don't want the full 16 cups. I thought that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and this is the plunger. Yep, all right. Let's take the next thing out here. Now this, lift this out, you might want to be careful. I think I'll take the motor out first. This is the base unit considerably heavier than our existing one. Set down here. Oh. And like I said, it is considerably heavier, but it's a, a more professional type model, I guess you'd say. I think it's going to build your muscles up. <laughs> really? <laughs> You get another way to lock it, don't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. There we go. Yep. Now it's locked. Yep. Um, another feature that I like is this really large chute. So you can put really big pieces of uh, vegetable or what of cheese, whatever you want to process in there. It'll help things go a lot quicker. Alright, let's see if we can get this. Apparently these are the cutting blades and things of that nature. Let's see if I can get the box. I'm concerned here about breaking things, so uh, try to be real careful. I think when we take this out, if you're not careful, it will come apart and pieces will fall out. So be careful if you unbox one of these. I just have that impression that it would uh, come open and parts will fall out on you. Got some tape here. It is taped shut, but I tend not to push that too much. All right, got a wire tie on the front. We'll need to cut that. A little Swiss Army knife and some scissors. Make short work of that. All right. And I guess this is the 
case that handles all the cutting the blades, blades. Uh -huh. and the, the shafts for the different uh, blades. This more cutting blades down there. Mm -hmm. This thing got all kind of compartments. Yeah, something over there. What's that? Oh, that's the thing that you can clean your use for cleaning the, the whatever that thing's called. <laughs> <laughs> I know all this terminology. You can use this to push the, the food through the little cutters. Right. Mm. <coughs> Pardon me. Got a little brush here for cleaning things. Oh, and this is that really cool, cool blade. You can adjust this blade from very, very, very thin by twisting this knob, and you can make it as as you want it. Well, within reason. Well, yeah. But yeah, like if you're slicing cucumbers or something, you can make the, the slices either th real thin or you can you know, adjust it and get thicker slices. That was really cool. That's, I'm wrong. This is just the cover for this particular blade. This is not the adjustable. Oh, okay. One. Okay. All right. This well, there is one here that's adjustable. That's it, I think. Yeah. So you twist this. Oh yeah, that's it. And it makes the blade more down or wider. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's getting wider as I twist it in that direction and it gets more narrow in that direction. So that'll be a really nice for slicing cheese or cabbage or whatever. Yep. And while Ann was showing you that, I was playing with some other parts here. There's a nice little brush here for cleaning things and a, a spatula kind of thing, a little flexible. I like the way that it flexes without breaking. That's cool. So that's the kind of stuff. And then there's all kinds of cutting blades in here for different things and different sizes. And this is the shaft that you would use with the blades. Now this is one of the blades that I saw somebody else demonstrating. I thought this was really cool for like uh, cutting up cabbage or carrots or something. It's You can use it this way or this way and one way it cuts finer and one way it cuts coarser but the blade can be used turned in either direction depending on whether you want coarser or fine uh, stuff chopped up. I thought that was really cool. That's the French fry cutter. Cool. Mm -hmm. The one negative with this one that I've read, uh, this particular blade that makes them too little, it's more like shoestring potatoes, but this one makes fairly decent size uh, French fries. Kind of like the size you get at McDonald's or maybe just a little right. larger, right? Maybe just right. a little larger than that? On this one. Okay. Right. All right, but anyway, you got two different sizes of that. Put these in here, and and I know I don't have to tell you this, but just be careful, the blades are really sharp. I can't wait to try this thing out here. This is the uh, potato peeler. Uh, I have my doubts as to how well it's going to peel potatoes, but we will see. We will see. I just learned this thing that the slicer that's adjustable if it's a slice if it's adjusted for the thicker slices it won't go back in the case you have to turn it for the thin slices for it to fit in the case not a big deal but just one of them quirky little things all right what else we got sweetie is this it this is the dicing thing, right? Mm -hmm. Is it? It is. Mm -hmm. 
Do that. Now that's what this is used to clean. Yep. Then this is the part that will actually, like you run a tomato through it, you end up with little squares of tomatoes, not just slices or something. But it'll actually dice as it uh, runs through. I thought that was a really cool feature. All right, what else we got here? Uh, I think that's about all the parts. Now we'll have to read the manual and like the box. figure out how to use it. Yeah, storage is going to be an issue for us too. We're going to have to find out where to store this thing too. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, but uh, I'm sure Ann will work that out. All right, and just as a side note, uh, we also ordered the additional feature for uh, dicing more sizes. Uh, we'll be showing you that at a later time. It hasn't, that hasn't arrived yet. And as we progress forward, we'll also show you using these different blades and things. Uh, obviously, we just got the machine, so we've uh, got to learn a little about it. But we will be posting videos about that. Anything you want to add? No, nope, I can't wait to play with it. <laughs> she wants to play with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ann's birthday is in like five months, and this is her birthday present. So... Uh, <laughs> I'll have to get something else later, I'm sure. We will be putting a link in the description if you'd like to purchase one yourself. Um, but uh, I guess that's about it for now. That's all the parts that came with it. And we will be doing more videos about using this in the hopefully not too distant future. Thank you for visiting Cooking and Storing with Ann and Wayne. We hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please click like, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. That helps us produce more videos. Here's wishing you good food, safe storing, and happiness. Thank you.